What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the difference between a hard certification card and a digital certification card. Now, if you were certified, say, prior to around the 2008 mark, you probably had some type of hard certification card, like, say, an open water card or an advanced card or a rescue card. And over the years, as you take more and more classes, you will actually build up more and more certifications and actually obtain more and more certification cards. Now, typically speaking, we put these in our logbooks. If you're a guy, maybe you put it in your wallet. But guys, I've got seven of these that are absolutely full, and I couldn't imagine trying to put all of these cards in my wallet for each certification that I carry. But the cool thing is, is now that we're in the digital age, it makes it so much easier. So my cell phone is actually my certification card. Now since I'm an SSI diver or instructor, if you will, I have the SSI app downloaded to my phone. And all I've got to do is simply go over to the app, and once it opens, I'm going to go to the menu feature, and I'm going to go to cards, and all my certification cards are in here. Now, if you're not an SSI diver or SSI instructor, it's okay. You can actually create you a profile and put all your other certifications from other agencies in the app itself. So most of these are from the other agencies, and then when I scroll down, you can see all my certifications from SSI as well. And I can bring them up at any given time. So for example, my Rescue Diver Instructor Certification, there it is, you can see the card on it as well. So I can carry all my certification cards in one digital format. I can screenshot them. I can email them to the dive charter prior to my trip, so that way they have a, a record of them. Now, there are some dive charters out there that still want that hard card, but the digital age is upon us, and we should be utilizing it to our advantage. Now, if you still want to carry some hard cards with you, that's fine as well, because obviously you may still lose your phone or your tablet or whatnot. But with the digital age, you can very simply verify a diver status regardless of the training agency simply by calling that training agency and giving them their name and the date of birth and they can actually look up that diver. So between a hard card or a digital card, by all means, I prefer the digital card over the hard card system. One thing that I will mention is back in the 90s or late 90s, early 2000s when we started getting camera phones, one of the things that we did as instructors is we took photos. We take our camera phone, we take photos of all our cards so that we had a digital record of it. And most of the time, we never carried certification cards with us. When we got to the dive destination, maybe we needed to rent a tank or get on a dive charter, we just bring up our photo gallery and show them the picture of it. If they needed verification beyond that, they could actually call the training agency to verify. So guys, I hope you see that digital cards are the new age way of doing things. They do make your life a whole lot easier. Now, if you're old school like me and you still like the the uh, hard cards, by all means, ask your instructor and see if he can print you a card or see if the training agency will send you one after your certification. But guys, I'm telling you, the digital age is definitely the way to go. Guys, if you've got any more questions in this matter, please put it down in the comment section below and let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer having all your cards on one digital device or do you still like to have the old school cards? Let me know down in the comment section below. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.